Hi guys, it's Hani here. Welcome to Haniela's. Today I'm going to show you how to make these beautiful rose cookies. This is my very first cookie decorating tutorial of 2020. So with that in mind, I also wanted to say Happy New Year, guys. I hope you have a great year. Hope everything goes well for you guys. And since we are only a few weeks away from Valentine's Day, I think it's only appropriate that we do some roses and hearts. What do you guys think? Let's get started with today's tutorial. This first design is super duper simple, starting with 15 second consistency royal icing. We're going to flood the cookie with four different colors. I'm starting with white and then we're going to add three different shades of pink, starting with the lightest pink and then finishing up with the deepest pink in the middle. Now take a needle tool, toothpick, or today I'm using two-in-one tool and swirl the icing and blend the colors together. Once you're happy with your flood design, you can set the cookies aside and let the icing dry completely. Now take piping consistency white royal icing and pipe a rose pattern on the top and then immediately dip the cookie into white sanding sugar. Now white sanding sugar it's not the same thing as granulated sugar. White sanding sugar or sanding sugar in general has larger sugar crystals so you won't get the same effect with granulated sugar. In the second design, we're going to do some wet on wet royal icing. So first we have to outline and flood the cookie. I'm using 15 second consistency royal icing. And then I'm going to use contrasting colors and we're going to pipe some circles into the base icing. When doing wet on wet, there are two things that you have to keep in mind. Your base icing needs to be fluid when you are adding icing into it in order for it to be wet on wet and then the icing you are piping like I'm doing with red should be same consistency as your base or slightly thinner than your base. So now we're going to let this dry and to finish this design we're gonna use uh, piping consistency white real icing, pipe uneven swirls on each circle and then I'm also going to add some leaves and I'll show you how to cut the piping bag so you don't need a piping tip to make the leaves. Now cut the V-shape opening in your piping bag and to make the leaves use icing that is medium stiff. You don't want to use icing that is too too stiff nor that is too fluid. So this is the second design third design also involves some wet on wet technique. So start by outlining and flooding the cookie with white royal icing. And now we're going to pipe three circles with deep pink into the white royal icing. And then continue piping medium pink and light pink. So this will be the roses. Now all you have to do is very gently swirl these three colors together. And now we can pipe the leaves. I'm going to pipe uh, six leaves total. As a reminder, again, with wet on wet, you have to use icing, your wet on wet icing, in this case, my green icing. It should be same consistency or slightly thinner than your base white icing.
Now take the needle tool and accentuate the points and then we have to let the icing dry completely. Now take white royal icing piping consistency and pipe the rose pattern onto each pink circle. Now with green piping consistency royal icing outline the leaves. Now take light pink stiff rail icing and pipe a decorative beaded border around. I'm using PME tip 1.5. This last design is pretty much the variation of the previous design using a smaller cookie, making a single rose. So we're gonna start by outlining and flooding with 15 second consistency royal icing and then piping three shades of pink, then green leaf, and then we're gonna let it dry and outline with piping consistency white and green royal icing.
And here are all the cookies we decorated today. I have to say I am kind of partial to the first design and last design. What do you guys think? Which of these designs is your favorite? Let me know in the comments. And for those of you who are new to my YouTube channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button so you get notified about my new uploads. And I will see you next week with a new video.